Can thinking people take the Bible seriously? There's no book so widely read as the Bible. It was the first book produced on a printing press with movable type. And it's estimated that over six billion Bibles have been distributed since it was first published. By far the world's bestseller. It continues to be the world's bestseller every single year, with an estimated 50 Bibles sold every minute of every day. It claims to be the revealed Word of God, but is it? If what it says isn't true, if there's no heaven or hell, nothing really matters. But what if it is true? Then nothing else really matters. Of course, you won't know if it's true or not unless you read it. This library of 66 books, written over 1,500 years by 40 authors, has a harmony only possible if one mind directed it. If you get even a few people to write independently on some controversial topic, do they agree? No way. But the Bible does. And hundreds of specific prophecies in the Bible have been fulfilled in minutest detail. This demonstrates a knowledge of the future too specific to be simply a good guess. You need to do something about this. The Bible's influence reaches the world. It has inspired more books, art, music, and song than anything else by far. Think of those countries where freedoms are enjoyed. They are those where the foundation was laid on this book. And those countries where there is little religious freedom? In most of them, people will make great sacrifices and risk personal harm to have even a few pages of this amazing book. Wherever it goes, the Bible redeems fallen men. Though thousands of years old, it speaks to the needs of your life today. And those who take it seriously have traveled to the far-flung reaches of humanity to build schools, orphanages, and hospitals to bring hope and love and truth to the human race. Best of all, the Bible shows us the way of salvation. It contains the answer to the soul's greatest question, what must I do to be saved? If you think you can meet God's perfect standards by yourself, any religion will do. But if you've tried and failed to find peace with God through your own efforts, the Bible presents to you a Savior, the only one in the world. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Acts 16.31 The more the Bible is studied, the more it's appreciated. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Romans 10.17 its author is the most wonderful person in the universe. Is it a surprise then that we should find his book such a masterpiece?